I'm Valentina, and this is the Loyal Parents Review Team. So today, we have, um, you know those projects that you see, and you've probably, some of you have done, that project where like you have to make like a solar system model? Well, they made that into a toy version. And today, we have, so by a French company, we have a motorized solar system, which is actually very interesting. We have a motorized solar system. So, um, today I will be looking at this and seeing if we can learn some stuff about the solar system. So, um, we've already built this. This is what it looks like. It's actually quite tall. It comes with a whole bunch of gears and a whole bunch of stuff. It's actually pretty easy to make. And um, you just kind of... Um, it comes with like these rods and it just comes with like the different planets on in like little ball form and then it comes with this obviously the sun at the top and then it just comes with these gears and I'll show you the cool thing a little bit later but it, it has our, our eight planets of our solar system so it has Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars over here, Jupiter and Saturn, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune at the end. And um, this actually helps you understand, um, well, help me at least understand a little bit more about how fast each of the uh, planets move to complete the year, which is very interesting. And once I turn this on, you'll see how slow it takes for Neptune and Uranus to move. It's actually really slow. A lot of these take, I would say all of the gas giants take quite a, quite a bit of time. So um, it comes with all of these gears. You can see you just make the gears and they're attached and it's like a whole doohickey. And then you have that. And then there's also another version of this. Well, it's the same thing, but you can add like this little earth cover on top. Um, if you wanna learn more about like how the, the, um, the moon rotation works and how fast the moon goes. So instead you just take off everything and then you just replace where Mars is. You just replace it with this moon. And then it's just a close up on how um, the earth works and how, the, um, and how fast um, the moon rotates and you can see if you use this very crappy flashlight but if you use it um, it you can you can shine it on the moon and you can see how it works so now let's get to the exciting part turning this on so I'm I'm gonna hold this up just so you can see what I'm doing and I'm just gonna turn it on just prepare yourselves So as you can see, Mercury is moving really fast. All of the four closest planets are towards the center moving quite fast. Then you have Jupiter and everybody's kind of swirling around. If you look, um, the two blue ones, so Neptune and Uranus, if you look, those two are both um, moving quite slowly. And this is actually pretty cool. I could sit here and watch this all day. So it's powered by a little motor. And another really fun thing was trying to build this because we had to try and find the marked gears. This is actually a pretty good depiction of how our solar system works. There we are. Alrighty, I'm gonna turn that off. And um, what you, if you want, what you can do is you can just align everything up and have them all in one alignment, and then you can just start it and see how fast everybody goes, which I find to be really fun. So. Um, what I like about this is I love how I, um, it was just like kind of, I already know all my planets, but um, for, I've also found it really fun to just, um, to just like 
um, look at how fast each planet moves because they didn't really know how fast each planet moved it, if they were all like perfectly aligned and how fast they orbit the sun. So that was really interesting. Um, yeah, I also really like building this. I found it was like really cool. And I also like how it's two in one. So you can learn a little bit about the moon and how the fast the moon moves and also about how um, the about how this one, uh, how the Earth, um, the lunar phases, and also how all of these exciting planets work. Um, so, I th I th one thing that I don't like is that I found, uh, so everything is pretty self-explanatory up until the third step when you have to try and stack these. And basically, um, the gears uh, where you put um, all of the, the turning thingies, where you put them, Actually, um, it, you have to put them in order. So it'd be like 14, 13, 12, and then all the way down. Um, so that's how that kind of works. Um, I had to try and figure that out. Um, don't really follow the instructions. It doesn't really help. So yeah, so they go down. So those go down, these go down. And so the top one would be 14, 12, 11, uh, 10, 8, 7, and all the way down. And then... So yeah, that's the end of this review. Um, I hope that you liked it. Maybe you learned a little bit about space. I don't know. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye!